unfortunately some bible teachers teach that nonsense that god is punishing you for your sins just for you to know if human beings that are wicked does not punish sin twice god cannot punish forgiven sin what about forgiven sin when jesus died on this cross he says behold the lamb of god that taketh away the sins of the world how does he forgive you on one hand and punish you on another hand what you don't know is this the person that made you sin is the satan and when he made you sin the reason why he made you sin was because he wanted to weaken your faith so when you sin he goes behind you again and begins to accuse you that's what the bible calls him the accuser of the brethren he tells you you see the problem is that you wasted your money that's why you have a financial problem you you don't give to god that's why you have a financial problem he puts all this guilt in your heart he says how will you prosper see all the girls you slept with you're not faithful to your wife see what you did as a single person god is punishing you back you know you know the reason why he does that because the moment pay attention now the moment he makes you think that you are responsible for the wrong that is happened that is happening to you you cannot rebuke him so he's a corny crafty method to say you can't rebuke me because you're responsible and you're gonna oh i'm responsible someone said i asked someone he said i said why didn't you come to church last night i said my girlfriend slept over we kind of had sex i felt guilty the next morning i said forget that's why i didn't come to church i said the church is hospital when you get sick start coming i said the church is hospital when you get sick start coming start what did, say? What did you just do hey babe get up well let's go we're going for cleansing the reason the reason why the devil keeps you away is this someone says but when i come won't god be angry hold on you need to come to church for god to know you sinned your god must be very small you need to come to church for god to be angry with your sin your god must be very tiny it must be made in china you mean when you are doing it he didn't know let me shock you before you thought about it god knew you would sin glory to god and let me say this to you ever listen to this the more sin conscious you are the more your prayers will not be answered you know why james chapter 5 the prayer of a righteous person avails much it's righteousness consciousness that makes prayer powerful the reason why some of you don't pray is that you say that you know i'm not good enough for answered prayers god will not change my business god will not do this because all the bad things i did and god is saying what are you talking about i didn't want to answer your prayers because of you i answered because of jesus so let's go back so we see in the scripture that many people could not receive because of unbelief so someone says what is unbelief unbelief is actually a belief system that is against the word of god so what is unbelief the word of god says none shall lack a mate that means you will never lack someone to marry your system your belief system says who is there to marry me that thinking who is there to marry me is unbelief it's a belief system that is opposing god's word god's word says i will supply all your needs according to his riches and glory you said i don't have anybody to help me that is unbelief it's a belief system that's opposing what you feel god's word says there shall not be barren you see the doctor says but i can't have a child that, that that means you trust the word of the doctors over the word of god he says but whose report will you believe he says we shall believe the report of the lord what is unbelief unbelief is that i'm, I'm the bible says that sin will not have dominion over me because i'm not on that what the law i'm on the grace and you keep on saying i can't do without masturbating i'm so stuck with nicotine i'm so stuck with sex how can you say that when the bible says sin will not have dominion over you L listen to me people listen to this someone says but that's the reality I, I i cannot help but masturbate i've tried so many times i understand your frustration but why is it called belief if it's in the physical you don't have to believe it it's called belief because it's something you cannot see or touch all of you in this auditorium you don't believe you are seeing me you know you are seeing me 
so the reason we believe the word of god is because our senses cannot touch taste or feel it so it's a decision we make that this is my reality this is the truth i believe so we're talking about how to receive from the lord so the bible says that jesus christ just imagine just christ touch a man on the wheelchair the man could not get up just christ touch a blind person's eyes his eyes couldn't see he prayed for a single girl she didn't get married and the reason why is that he says because of their unbelief let me say something to you you can pray from now to next generation if you have unbelief your unbelief will always cancel your prayers and that's why unfortunately a lot of people that pray a lot don't see the result of their prayers have you noticed that and the reason why is that once they pray a lot and they don't see results they intensify the prayers then they move to warfare prayers then they don't see results then they just say god hates me someone says how do you make your prayer powerful this is how you make your prayer powerful by the time your prayer is supported by a belief system on god's word your prayer will become more powerful you don't increase the power of prayer by voice you don't increase the power of prayer by crying you don't increase the power of prayer by ruling on the chair how do you increase the potency of prayer you increase the potency of prayer by increasing the potency of the word let me tell you what prayer does prayer itself is not what produces the power mm -mm. have you noticed something in the ephesians chapter 6 and this is going to disturb a lot of you's mind but come down and walk with me because i said prayer itself doesn't produce the power I, say, huh? I thought prayer is the power hold on i will tell you how prayer works this is how prayer works in ephesians chapter 6 where you talk about spiritual armor is prayer mentioned yes or no prayer is not mentioned the next verse now says with prayers so prayer is not mentioned there is nowhere in the bible that tells us that prayer is power the bible says prayer makes power available it is a prayer is power question what does the bible tell us that is power hebrews 4 12 for the word of god is quick and powerful Luke chapter 1 no word that God says is void of power to accomplish what he says so what does prayer do everybody look at me this is what prayer does the word of God is power is like a bullet if I take a bullet right now and I throw it at you it doesn't work it has the device what is prayer prayer is the gun so once I load the gun with the bullets and yet shaka shaka you start running what happens to most people that pray without the word is this there's a lot of shaka shaka no bullets it's so all we hear is noise no results all we see is no results because there is no bullet in the gun you want to make your prayer powerful load it with the word and see what will happen I'm challenging you. Someone says, why are you saying this? The way you've prayed all your life is how you knew how to pray. What result have you seen? If you don't have as much result I have through prayer, maybe you should try what I'm talking about. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. hallelujah. Hebrews, James chapter 4. Is it possible? See, it, oh my God. Is it possible for God wants to, want to bless you and, and you miss it? I'm going to show you. James chapter 4. We're going to read two scriptures in James. James chapter 4. Because I want to just show you that God is not going to oh yeah, just take. A lot has to do with you. The Bible says, see what the Bible says. Everyone that asks it does what? Receive it. If you are the one that is asking, you must receive. A lot of people know how to ask. They don't know how to receive. That's why there's no manifestation. 